It's the PDGA U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championships from Madison, Wisconsin. We are halfway through round number three. It's moving day, and some of our players on this third card are definitely moving. Yeah, we've got some really clean starts so far. It's going to be interesting to see how they attack some of these longer and more technical holes in the woods. We're at Elver Park. Fairly open for most of the front nine and then deeply into the woods for most of the back nine. Yeah, and varying lengths. Hannah Blumroof with an excellent start, five under through her opening nine. Alexis Mondejano with a couple of late birdies in that opening nine. Cynthia Ricciotti beginning to heat that putter up and Paige Pierce a little bit of a disappointing end to that opening nine, but always lurking. And now we get into the technical part of the course, starting with hole number 10, a par three at 282 feet. These trees that need to be negotiated here, only about 135 off the tee. And then the basket, well guarded. Mm -hmm. That last tree there and even that little overhanging bush to the right make it very, very challenging to get the two. Off the tee, we have a couple of different gaps to look at. The one on the right side of that main tree, which Alexis is taking, and then you also have oh. a... F oh, that's unfortunate. That's the first tree to get past, but then you also have a uh, flex shot to the left side of that tree that I think allows you to penetrate the basket a little bit better. Let's see how it goes. Cynthia manages mm. to get all the way through without hitting a tree, but finds herself in those bushes off to the left. Yeah. Here is Henna. Oh, dear. Big yank. Yeah, that was interesting. Looks like she just missed her line a little bit there. Page. I'm thinking yeah. she wanted a little bit more pop-up than that gave her, but it does play slightly uphill here. So Henna to play first, still 190 feet out, catches oh. another low-hanging branch. Yeah, you can see the leaves falling there. That's going to be challenging. Here's Alexis off of that early tree kick, about 160 out, trying to shape something That looks up. like a good line. Oh, wow. Beautiful. What a great shot. Yep, she'll have a nice opportunity to clean up there. Hannah with her third from 80 feet. This doesn't look like too much trouble, though. Not as happy as she could be, though, you can see. I've got Paige at no more than about 37 feet from the basket, but where's We can't Paige? see her. <laughs> Ooh. Gave it everything it needed, though. Around. Ouch. Oh, man. Careful. That was so quick, too. It just flipped it right off her head. <laughs> so Cynthia is actually a pace or two closer than Paige was, but similarly in a very difficult position. Yeah, these holes are getting uh, more and more technical as we move through. Gonna see a disc popping out. Ooh, that was a really good one. Really close. She came out and she said she could not see the basket. So when the crowd reacted, she didn't realize just how close that was to dropping into the basket. Alexis taking no time to tap that in. Now Hannah down off the step. Nice. Saves the bogey. And first one of the round, too. Very nice. Paige saving her par. And Cynthia dropping in her par. Getting another look at the best drive of the bunch. Oh, very nice. And then the 
disc gets skinny right there to make it through that gap. Jumping up now to hole number 11. 309 feet, a par three, playing downwind for our players. And slightly uphill. This one, at least in my experience, this one was seemed at 309, like, oh, I should be able to, you know, pump one out there and get to the basket pretty easily, but it plays a little bit long with that uphill. Alexis playing first. Got some good height on it. You can see the effect of the tailwind, though, mm -hmm. pushing that disc right back down to the ground. Yeah, it's tricky because you want to throw upward with the line of the hill, but at the same time, throwing upward exposes the top plate of the disc more. Looks like she got a great turnover on that. Sprinting out to the side, wanted to see where that one would land, and it does so just outside of the circle. Hopefully that gets some late turn. Not quite, about mm -hmm. 50 feet away. Now Henna coming off of that bogey. Getting a little bit of extra distance, very nice. Yeah, this hole played um, a lot more difficult at at 309, you wouldn't think it was very much, but as you can see, a lot of these players are still having some trouble getting up to that green. After Alexis's layup, here's Paige from about 50 feet. Hasn't seen one of these fall today. No, you know she's hungry for it, though. Oof. Oh, off the chains. Cynthia now from about 42. Oh, oh man. That was really close for Cynthia. Still asking that putter to heat up just a little bit more today. <laughs> a little bit of visible <laughs> frustration there, but sometimes that's what you got to do to shake it off and keep running the next one. Here's Henna from 25 feet. Great bounce back. So Henna back to five under par for the round through 11 holes. Cards the lone birdie here on the par three 11th. So beginning to open up a little bit of a gap on her card mates and mm -hmm. beginning to make some noise up the leaderboard with the chase card and the lead card coming in behind. Also the players beginning to be made aware of some nearby weather. Yes, so you could see the clouds rolling in. That's, of course, in the back of the mind right now. Are we going to get rain? Are we going to get wind? Are we going to get nothing? Right. All of a sudden, you see all the camera guys putting mm -hmm. on their weather gear. That's exactly what began to happen. You wonder sometimes, should I speed up? Will that benefit me to get done before the rain starts? Or will speeding up be a bad idea? Do I need right. to keep myself sort of slow and calm? I, you don't want to rush yourself in any in any case. Another look there at Henna's excellent putt. The putter's really been on for Henna today. She wants to keep that going as we jump to hole number 12. Such a fun hole to throw. Again, 309 feet. So imagine that, the exact same distance as the previous hole. Completely but look at the different. difference in the challenge. We're mm -hmm. going uphill, a lot more into the woods. As I mentioned, the back nine mostly in the woods, the front nine mostly out of the woods. Here we go. Steeply uphill during the last third or so of the hole. Yep, we cross over a little bit of a gully or a valley in the middle of the fairway there. And a firing off first with that orange disc that she's been going to all week long, and we can see why. Lovely little tree tap there. Again, I'm not sure if that is officially a putter or a mid-range, but it sure seems to fly slow. Mm-hmm. Alexis. Ooh, getting a little bit of extra mustard on that forehand there. Mm. That'll be challenging. Catches that tree, drops straight down. 
into that goalie you were talking about. Now Cynthia. Looks like she should be pushing up through the bark there, sliding her way into the circle. Very well done. Well inside the circle. And here's Paige Pierce. Get that turnover. Oh, man, it just kept flying. Gorgeous. Well done. Got some nice, got three discs lined up there in the green. Alexis from 90 feet, straight up the hill. Shouldn't be a problem there. Looks like she's got a great opportunity to clean up that par. Now Cynthia, awkward footing. Stretching it out a little bit. Nice, very nice. And for the well-earned birdie. Page play next. This for birdie. Nice, oh. nice catch there. The shoulders sag. She thought she missed it. Nevertheless, it's a birdie. Oh, Alexis doing something very similar. Hit almost the exact same spot in the chains. Mm -hmm. Only doesn't get the favorable bounce. Meanwhile, Henna. Dropping in another birdie. Moves to six under par for the day. And I believe that was the first bogey for Alexis there. Oh, what a great putt. Heiser putt on the left side of the tree with a straddle stance. Hole number three play, or excuse me, hole number 13, a par three playing a little bit uphill, just 234 feet. And oh boy, look at all those tent poles. I like to give you a measurement, uh, if I've got one, of a significant tree or a significant bush or something like that. I pulled out the rangefinder on this one and then I just put it right back in my pocket. Why? <laughs> Why? There's so many and they're all the exact same Why size. Why bother? Ooh, that's unfortunate to yeah. get to the left. One of the very first trees you can hit. There okay. is a preferred route. I don't know if I'd call it a fairway, but there is a preferred route here where if the players are able to oh. make the gap. Oh, Cynthia off the same tree as Henna. Man. You will at least get probably halfway or so to the hole. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, let's be honest, it's a little bit of a poke and pray. Ooh. Page right. made the initial gap I was talking about, yeah. and sure enough, gets maybe a little more than halfway up to the basket. Oh, looks like we may have a forehand here. Oh, man. Get through. All right. All right. We'll have some tricky approaches. <laughs> and it still has 210 feet or so to go from here. Ooh. She's out. Yep. She's out. 90 feet short of the basket, but she's out. Now Cynthia literally like one step in front of where Henna was. Oh, wow. Not a lot of room for movement in there. Got it up nice and high. She actually hit a tree. Mm. that bounced her straight back down virtually at her feet. That was the hands on the hips. Mm -hmm. And then oh, her man. third rockets across the fairway. 234 might might be, I don't know for certain, but it might be the shortest hole on the course. And man, is it giving these players some fight. Meanwhile, Henna over here from 90 feet. That oh. a bid to save par went for it. Here's Alexis, also from about 90 feet. Gets clean on that one. And Paige, also from about 90 feet.
Nice, nice. I can see, I can see it in her face. She's looking for one of those long ones this round. Cynthia is still about 48 feet short of the basket. Ooh, going for that one. Good bid, but a little bit long. Oh, Ooh. Henna just a little bit short. That would have saved a bogey. That one looked good out of her hand, too. Just slightly low. Cynthia just wanted to get off of this hole, <laughs> it looks like. Okay, tap in for par. Henna giving back some strokes on that double bogey. Mm -hmm. What a gnarly little hole. Time to regroup, though. Mm -hmm. Just over half of this back nine to go for these players. Yep, that's the challenge we face as disc golfers. You can't expect everything to go exactly nope. where you want it every time. That's what you do afterwards. Hole number 14 is 240 feet, not quite as tight as hole 13 was. Nevertheless, a challenge. Yeah, absolutely. This one has a little bit more of a nice obvious line, I think you can see, and obviously a hyzer shot, which is a little less technical to execute. So players looking to choose the right disc that will both hit the gap they're looking at and then finish in the manner that they're hoping for. Paige to play first. And it's the first time she's had the box in a while. Mm -hmm. Liking that so far. Ooh, tricky. Just the, basically last available. Literally the last tree. So she'll be about 50 feet short. Here's Alexis. A little bit wide. Comes through clean, though. <laughs> yeah, finds it. Oh, what nice a perfect stop. backstop. Mm -hmm. Players couldn't see that from the uh, from the tee box. Hannah, the at inside. first I thought this was too inside, but finds an opening. Gorgeous. And now Cynthia coming off of that disappointing triple bogey. Looking to bounce back for sure. Gets it working. Great yeah. hit at the end there. Didn't cause her too much trouble at all. So Paige to play first from nearly 50 feet. A little bit frustrated. Hasn't mm -hmm. gotten a circle two putt to go in quite a while. Oh, stayed in though. Clean birdie. Takes advantage of the fortunate tree kick, as you should. Nice bounce back. And as well, coming off of a double bogey. 
good bounce back for henna. Mm-hmm. That's about as best as you can hope for after <laughs> yeah. an errant hole. Good look at Alexis from that from that sort of fifteen foot range, eighteen foot range. Mm -hmm. Alexis just money all the time. Hole fifteen, par four, three hundred and ninety feet. We don't really get a reprieve from the woods per se, but we do get a reprieve from all of the tree trunks down the fairway a little bit here on this par four. Of note, by the way, this is where the weather began to impact play a little bit more. Mm -hmm. A nearby thunderstorm that didn't cause us to have to delay play or anything like that was just close enough that wind gusts and a little bit of rain coming out of that storm began to impact the players beginning on this hole. Ooh, that's heading in a tricky direction. Oh, I love this. If it can keep moving. Oh, what really a Really stretching it out. Gorgeous. Nearly pin high. Yep, that's pretty close to ideal and a Pretty fun, long look at Eagle. A little bit low, but she had some good angles there. Should still be a good opportunity for Birdie, potentially. Paige needing things mm. to get lucky. I'd say that counts. All things considered, yeah out onto the onto the edge of the fairway at least you can see now the wind picking up up in the tops of the trees the wind was really whipping several times players looked up at one point Paige even got her umbrella out thinking she was hearing rain she mm -hmm. wasn't she was hearing wind so then she put the umbrella back up again <laughs> Pitched out, executed a good cleanup. Inside of the circle. Here's Paige from about 150 feet. Not as bad as I anticipated. No, not at all. Able to put that approach shot well inside the circle. Mm -hmm. So despite the errant drive, an opportunity to earn the birdie here on the 15th. Here's Cynthia from about 140 feet out. Very nice. Where are you going? <laughs> All there right, we we're go. good. And now, Henna, this is an eagle bid from only about 44 feet away. Mm. Trying to ride the wind in there. Yeah, you can see her, her shorts and her shirt mm. fluttering a little bit. Even that rope starting to flicker a little bit more as the weather comes through. Well played by Alexis with the gusty wind here. Mm -hmm. It really started to obviously gust, as you can see, as they approach the basket. Pretty intermittent before this point. Great perspective here on this putt. Boom. Love that. In for birdie. Cynthia matches the birdie. In for birdie as well. And just cool to at least have the opportunity for eagle. I love that. The longest made putt here on the 15th. Smooth. Once again, Alexis. Smooth and consistent putting style. Jumping up here to hole number 16. Scorecard says the hole measures 285. On the laser from tee to basket, it's actually a bit longer than that. Measuring mm -hmm. more like 330, 335. In truth, I don't know if that's a factor of 
uh, just a, a mistaken laser read or if that's a factor of sometimes measuring the fairway through the open space as opposed to as the crow flies. I'm mm -hmm. not really sure exactly why. Nevertheless, the players are aware that they're going to need a little more power than the signage would indicate. And we see Henna going first. Nearly pinned deep there and a little bit left. Yeah, the miss to the left common here because you're throwing something faster. Nice. Hoping to hold it off just like Cynthia has right here. What a perfect shot. Very well executed and using every bit of that fairway with that flex shot. Page just pushing it out on a nice clean hyzer. Ooh. Oh boy, needed it to beat that one tree there. Still got some pretty good progress down the fairway though. And I know she's still looking for that long putt. Is Alexis straight up the middle? Ooh, I think holding, she... holding, holding. All Not right. bad. I think she was hoping for a little bit more flex on that, but that was a good result. Page about 75 feet away with an opening. So you're seeing there's a chance. Oh, do it. Mm. Man. Like that out of the hand. I love that she just keeps trying, just keeps running them. They're going to go in eventually. How about like oh that? Oh, my gosh. Great height on it. I had that at 52 feet. Well played. Yeah, that's, that's a stoker on the back nine for sure. Hannah from 42 now. Just a little bit onto the weak side there. Mm -hmm. Good tempo, though. Didn't go too far. Very nice. Excellent Cynthia drive on that one. Care of business. Page cleans up the par here at the 16th. Oh, nice. We'll get a nice look at Cynthia's shot. Just keeps moving to the right. Just trust it on the left side of that fairway. A lot of muscle memory in Cynthia's throw. She turns her head away from the target mm -hmm. a lot longer than a lot of other players do but is confident exactly where she's going to put the disc on the line. Fun to watch, different style. Hole 17, 459 foot par four. A little bit tighter and a little bit more technical than that last par four yeah. that our players attacked just a couple of holes ago, especially here in the latter half. Uphill. Yep, it can make for even if you're cruising down the fairway and feeling good. Once your disc hits that uphill, it can be def it can definitely be challenging. Cynthia playing first. And worth noting, Cynthia sh really shaking off that triple bogey in a beautiful way with three yeah, birdies in a row. Earning it right back. So Alexis Mondohano turning to the forehand. Ooh. That all should right. play very well, yeah. Perfect. Thought it was a little overturned out of the hand, but not at all. Here's Henna. Oh, yeah. All right, now we start hoping for a little luck. Great late yes, kick. Oh, my dude, gosh. Get some of that luck. Puts that drive to within 65 feet or so and on this par four. That's a long uphill look, but another really great eagle opportunity for Henna. 
Oh, forcing it over just a hair too much and catching that early tree. Yeah, catches a tree behind a tree. Mm. Oh, you yeah. You feel like you made the gap, but that tree behind the first tree is perfectly in your line of sight. You don't even really know it's there until you hit it. Oh, man. At least she's got some better footing for this shot. <laughs> That's true. This is Paige's third from 320 in the air. Yet another unfortunate kick off of a tree, this time decidedly into the rough. Yeah, that right side of the fairway won't let her go. Also in the rough is Cynthia. She wasn't that far ahead of where Paige just threw from. She elects to go ahead and pitch straight out. Not much of an option mm -hmm. other than that. So now Cynthia playing her third from about 270. Weave in those trees expertly. Wow, that was a great up. Mm -hmm. If you can call a 270 foot shot an up shot. No kidding. <laughs> and another really great example of some scramble golf, pitching out and able to execute even after an errant throw is very skillful. So here's Alexis from just under 150, sort of an awkward stump there in front of her. Still able to get a nice hyzer shot out there. All right. You can see the ground play here in the woods mm -hmm. on some of these holes. Those pine needles are sort of slick. Ooh. Page. Nearly holing out from 140 feet. Now we look at Henna. Another eagle opportunity. This from... About 65 feet, basically on the edge of circle two. Oh, really great tempo, too. Looks like it just could have fallen right in. Clean up the birdie. Very nice for Alexis. Great job by Alexis. Staying in, staying in it, staying in the moment. Had kind of a slow start in the front, had that bogey mm -hmm. on the 12th on the back and just sort of stayed in things. Yep, and definitely kept pace. Strong finishes are very important. Oh, oh Cynthia, Cynthia, bad luck there. That was a lot of chains for a disc to not fall down mm -hmm. into the basket. So a frustrating bogey for Cynthia and a birdie for Henna. Yeah, I'm sure Cynthia was looking to hopefully finish clean on that one, so I'm sure that's a little bit tough, but we've still got a pretty fun opportunity on the final hole. We move on to the 18th. How can you not love a hole like this? 474 feet, very, very downhill. So just a par three. This is one of those where you empty the bag, then you go and spend an hour and a half picking up all of your discs <laughs> before heading to your car in the parking lot. Yeah, what a what an iconic final hole for this course. Mm -hmm. Huge gallery able to gather back there by those feather flags. And Alexis to play first. Throwing something nice and stable, but not too much. Gets a nice straight flight down the hill. If you look closely, you can see it had begun to rain at this point just a little bit. Get some authority on that downhill. Little air bounce. Mm -hmm. Dead in line with the basket all the way down. All the players watching that with a lot of intent. And then it settles just short of the basket. Here's Cynthia Ricciotti. Catching some air, but getting a good flex on it. And ending up with some really good distance. Off a little bit to the left. Common here on the mm -hmm. 18th, that left side from the player's perspective. Definitely the error you want to make. It's 
fairly open to the right side, but you definitely have some big bushes to contend with. Paige watches that disc drift a little further left than she would have hoped. Pin deep, I th- looks like, at least. And we walk down this very steep hill. Player's kind of hustling at this point because of the rain coming in. And it looks like Alexis is finished up. Oh, yep. You can see the mist. Oh, man, look at those banners in the background whipping. Paige looking at about 130 feet still. Ooh. Gave it a good run, throw. though. Mm-hmm. That was that was chain high most of the flight. Cynthia, from the edge of Circle 2, you can see the blue whiskers there just behind her extra disc and her towel. Taking Play, it out wide. Yeah, playing pretty quickly. And Henna now just, just inside of 50 feet. Mm-hmm. Good run, nice and safe. Going with that high drifting putt. Not quite able to get it to fall into place. Very nice. Yep, good Conclusion focus of the there. Round. It's one thing to play a whole round in the rain and to be used to it by the 18th. It's mm-hmm. another thing to have the storm hit as you're finishing and to keep your focus anyway. Thankfully, no lightning in this part of the storm. Further to our north, I think they had a pretty significant storm. But where we were, no lightning, no thunder, no problem, no delays for any players, including the two cards coming in after this one. And we get a final look at another incredible drive by Henna, not her first here on the back nine. I, b- I believe they say on a rope. Yep. I mean, as you look, it's just, I would just say an absolute clean invented, flight. They invented that expression for Hannah Bloomroosh. There's a look at our leaderboard with Haley King leading the way over Evelina Salonen, who's been in the mix all weekend mm-hmm. long. Hannah Bloomroosh playing her way up to the chase card with her excellent play today. There you are, Cy, tied with Hannah. So you guys will play together. Sarah Holcomb. Showing up on the leaderboard before the final day. Coming up here at the 2022 PDGA U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championships from Madison, Wisconsin. Follow the PDGA on YouTube and all of their social channels for continuing coverage.